Hey everybody, how's it going today? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Today I want to do a video on encouraging single Christians. Today I want to do a video on encouraging single Christians. I'm going to take my time here and allow God to give me a word to say here in this video to edify the body of Christ as best I can. Now, oftentimes, you know, single Christians can feel, you know, down about being single. They feel like they hadn't met their good thing yet. If it feels like, you know, they're not going to meet anybody. They get down on themselves and they be like, why can't I have this? Why can't I have that? You know, like everybody else does. But see, the thing of it is what you got to understand too. In the, in the meantime that you are single, it's a good thing to get yourself in order with God first before you think about, you know, finding yourself a spouse, okay? It's a good thing to get yourself in order and, um, you know, build up your relationship with God first and get your completeness in God first before you think about, you know, uh, finding a spouse, okay? See, one thing that brought this topic up is um, I saw one of my friends the other day from high school, and uh, it seems that, you know, sometimes when I see people I haven't seen in years, it seems that the number one go-to question is, are you married? Are you in a relationship yet? You get where I come from. That seems to be the number one go-to, you know, question. See, I told my friend, I said, no, I'm still single as the day we first met in high school. I said, you know, I said, uh, bro, to be honest with you, if I could find a woman that could, you know, love me for despite that my eyes are as perfect as uh, her eyes is, that would be a blessing, okay? And he made, he said, that's a real good uh, point that you made there. He said, there are some women out there that, um, you know, accept you for who you are. And I told him, I said, I don't feel down on myself or anything. I just said, you know, just felt like, you know, making that point there because, you know, I mean, sometimes when you, you know, when you're single, sometimes you do, uh, you know, tend to think about that sometimes. But I, okay, if I had perfect eyes, you know, would I be single? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you get where I come from. But, you know, people experience uh, singleness in many different ways. I hope this makes sense here, okay? Because everybody's situation is different, okay? See, and sometimes, too, I'm going to tackle this right quick. Sometimes, too, when you have special needs or you have a little bit of disability, you know, sometimes that does, uh, you know, kind of make it a little bit challenging for somebody to find a spouse if you get where I come from. I mean, that oftentimes does happen, you tell me. See, too, while you're single, it's good to take time to get more stronger in God to work on your hobbies and things that you enjoy doing. And also, being single can be the best time to be in ministry, too. You know, you don't have to have, you know, to worry about, you know, um, having a balance on a, you know, schedule here, you know, with the wife and kids to get where I come from. Because sometimes if you, that's what I have noticed over the years, you know, by watching other brothers and sisters of Christ who are married and I, and I appreciate their videos they put forth and it's a blessing. And sometimes, oftentimes, what I have noticed is sometimes, you know, the wife could feel like um, the husband spending way too much time in ministry than he is with her and the kids, okay? But then again, there are some husbands out there that will, you know, balance out the time with the, her and the kids to begin where I come from. I mean, that's just one of the things about, you know, being single, you know, when you were in ministry, you, you have plenty of time to be out in the mission field you get where I come from you have plenty of time to do that if that is what God has called you to do okay because different people have different callings okay and it's a blessing when you find yourself a spouse that's on the same caliber and the same page as you are and you and your spouse could be like a Scylla and Aquila in the Bible you know husband and wife team you know working together instead of working against each other see when you work together one thing I have learned is, I mean, you get a whole lot of confidence. Does that mean you always don't agree with your spouse on everything? No, that, you, you work those uh, disagreements out. You get where I come from because, you know, oftentimes, yeah, you do run into a little bit of disagreements. Even with some friendship, sometimes you do run into a little bit of disagreements, okay? That's just normal. 
It's just how you work those problems out. It's, what's make, it's what makes your relationship work. And two, you know, being single is a perfect time to, uh, <clears throat> you know, learn about, you know, uh, let me uh, rephrase that, is to think about are you uh, really committed? Are you really ready for a relationship, okay? Because like I say, there's a whole lot that comes behind a relationship, you know, just by, you know, being quick to listen and slow to speak over the years. I have learned a whole lot, you know, over the years by watching married couples. And, and I think it's a dynamic blessing when, you know, I have seen some couples bringing forth a good godly example, okay? Said so they may not always agree on everything, but praise God, they still work things out and get where it comes from. They're not so, they're not quick to throw in the towel, okay? Because, you know, their love for one another is strong. So that's another thing, too, when you're, single you got to work on being a spouse a spouse would love to have okay you want to work on being a spouse a spouse would love to have because when you meet somebody that can make your life better okay that can make your life enjoyable okay see like right now as a single person as a single christian you know you can make you can make your life good with God too. You know what I'm saying. But my thing is, when you get yourself in order first before you think about getting married, that is a blessing. Okay, you see what I mean. See, when you get humble in the Lord, that's a wonderful thing. You get where I come from. See, it's so easy to find the wrong thing that is find the right thing. It's so easy to get yourself off into misery and regret than it is to get yourself off into a blessing. That makes your life feel that much more complete. See, that's one of the reasons why I love doing this type of videos right here. Because it gives me the opportunity to reach out to brothers and sisters of Christ who are single. Also, like myself. You know, giving them encouraging words. And to build them up to get where I come from. Because oftentimes, I'll say this like I said in my video yesterday. See, oftentimes, some single folks... Oftentimes, they allow their self-esteem to get damaged. They feel like they're ugly. They feel like they're unattractive or there's something wrong. Let me just say this, like I said, you know, in my video, you know, the other day, allow God to build up your self-esteem. Anytime you allow the devil to put those thoughts in your mind, you're ugly, you're not attractive, you're not good enough. That is the perfect thing that the devil will use to destroy your self-esteem, okay? Because I have seen many people with a bad attitude who are single that bought into those lies, okay? See, being single, it's not a bad thing. It's what you make out of it. The term is the outcome and, and your attitude determines your life of being single, okay? See, you could be a good example. You could set forth a godly example, on how a single person and single child of God should be because it's so easy to go out and give yourself a bad name, okay? Let's be honest with that. It's so easy to go out there and give yourself a bad name than it is to give yourself a good name because giving yourself a good name starts from building from the bottom up, okay? Now, it's easy to give yourself a bad name in just two seconds. Let's turn things down real quick. You get where I come from. See, when you are in your single season, you know, that's for that's first why I say when you are in your singleness season, that's the best time to, you know, grow more spiritually in the Lord and to get yourself in order with God first. Because where I see most people go wrong at also over the years, um, some people try to marry somebody, you know, thinking that they could change a person, then uh, and uh, end up they uh, get to self in misery and regret. You know, they'd be like wishing they never, you know, married that person. See, but. See, when, when when you find somebody, if it, if it is in God's will for you to find somebody, that person is going to have their act together just like you're going to have your act together, okay? You see what I mean? See, you're, you're going to find somebody that's going to have their act together if you get where I come from. I mean, like I say, I mean... It's just one of the blessings of being so easy, to, to being so quick to listen, excuse me, I mean, say quick to listen, slow to speak. That's a blessing when you observe things in like a sponge, you know what I'm saying? See, that's one of the good things about being single also. You can observe things and discern things and ask, is this what you want in your life? You know, when you see some bad examples, then when you see some good examples, you outweigh the pros with the cons, okay? 
the, the pros outweigh the cons, okay? That's pros and cons to everything. But, see, like I said, I made that decision not to, you know, go back, go down that bad, you know, lifestyle choices I have seen people over the years go down, you know what I'm saying? Because from what I have seen, it's not a pretty sight. You know what you, you know, I'm getting at? It's not a pretty sight when, you know, when you see those things, I chose not to allow that in my life if you get where I come from because... You know, it's better to be single, enjoy a life of God than it is to be with somebody that makes you feel miserable and makes you feel like you're with somebody that don't give a crap about you, okay? You don't want that kind of lifestyle, okay? I promise you that. From what I have seen over the years, I mean, that's what I have seen, you know what I'm saying? Because I could say, you know, marriage could be a good thing like, this, like the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing, but... If you find somebody bad, it could be, be a bad thing. So what most people do is they give it to the fear of being alone. And some people just get tired of hearing, you know, that's like what I made, that's like what I said earlier, you know, with this video talking about, you know, when they come across some people like family members and friends from the past, they just send us that rub it in your face, rub it in your face. Like, hey, are you, are you married yet? Are you married yet? Are you married yet? Are you married yet? Are you in a relationship yet? Are you in a relationship yet? You're like, no. Do I need to put a sign on my back to give you an answer before you ask me? <laughs> you get where I get. You get where I come from because it just seems that like sometimes they can put a lot of pressure on somebody to hop into a relationship that gets somebody off their back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like I say, I mean. When you get your life right with God first, and you get your happiness, joy, and contentment of God first above anybody else, that's a blessing. See, and also, too, what most people don't understand is, you know, some people are called to be married. Then again, there are some people that are called to be single. I mean, it just depends on what God has for in store for you in your life, and if whatever God's will is for you, that's what's going to go in your life. But either way, what God has planned for you is always a good thing, okay? Because God isn't going to lead you down a bad path of destruction, okay? God wants you to be blessed. I mean, it's not saying you're going to find yourself a perfect marriage, but you're going to have ups and downs. But what they're saying is, you know, God ain't going to you know put you in a situation that's going to make you feel wind up miserable with regret. Now, flesh will, flesh will do that. Your flesh will also desires you. Yeah, that'll get you into a whole lot of trouble real quick, easily, real quick. You see what I mean? One thing I have learned, too, you know, over the years, it's easy for a single guy or a single woman to find sex easily. But when it comes to finding somebody to share life with, a true love companionship, somebody to enjoy life with, that's about like winning a lottery, you know what I'm saying? That's very hard to find, you know what I mean? See, it's normal for, I'm going to close with this, it's normal for people to desire somebody, okay? You know, Paul did talk about it's better to marry than burn with passion, meaning that you're desiring to have somebody in your life, okay? See, when he put, when he talked to God about those passions and he had God to help you with those passion desires, then he will help you out with that, okay? Because like I say, I don't know anybody, you know, that's a man or a woman that's not going to desire like, like for the fellas. I don't know any man out there that's not going to desire a woman, okay? I don't know a woman out there that's not going to d desire a man, okay? You get where I come from. I don't know, you know, if of any of anybody that wouldn't desire to be married, you know what I'm saying? Because most people that's what they've been taught all their life at school and college to be like, once you graduate high school you will get married. Once you graduate college you will get married. But when it don't come around you're like, wait a minute, what happened here? I thought everybody else was supposed to be married to this time, you know what I mean? But <clears throat> when you get yourself in order with God first, see being content don't mean that you're going to um I always stay in that situation. You're just thankful when you praise God for what you have. You see what I mean? Just like me as a single man, I praise God for things that I have. You know what I'm saying? The hobbies that I have, family and friends that I have, I praise God for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm very thankful for that. And being a legally blind person with low vision, my eyes are like a video camera. 
you know, that's not zoomed in on one particular atom in a room, I'm pretty well blessed to see that palm tree behind my head there, okay? I'm pretty well blessed to see, you know, the sun's uh, shadow uh, coming through the, uh, the uh, leaves there on the window there because if I didn't have the blinds closed, I mean, it'd be a big glare coming in here. I mean, I praise God for that. Simple things. I work on car radios and different things like that. Say being single is not a bad thing, but most people, you know, being single could be a bad thing only if you allow it to, okay? It's all in your attitude. Yes, when I, yes, years ago, I used to, uh, <clears throat> you know, see a couple walking in the mall holding hands and, you know, the husband have his uh, arm resting on uh, his girlfriend or wife's shoulders and his uh, wife would have, or girlfriend would have her arm around his hip. I'd be like, man, I wish I was that person right there. I mean, most people have wished they, you know what I'm saying? Most people, you know, have seen that, they thought for themselves, they, you know, would have been nice to have that. But then again, you know, when it's in God's will and God's timing, that's a blessing, okay? But in the meantime, is to get yourself in order with God first, okay? Build up your hobbies and, and witness the people if that's what God has called you to do. You know what I'm saying? Because you can enjoy life and have a great life and have, you know, the abundance of what God has for you if you ever come from. But most people, they choose to allow being single, cause them to become an angry, bitter person versus, you know, somebody being a happy person, being content in life, you get work up from. Now, I'm really going to close with this. Just like uh, my video I made a, a while back talking about things I have learned as a single man. Say, while I'm on the subject, I felt led to say this, okay? Now, when I went to the river with my friends from high school, you know, we, we uh, came across a guy, you know, we went camping, we came across a guy that was camping there also. Um, he was 45 years old and I was 20. So uh, I remember seeing that guy and he was single. See, it's not the fact that he was single, okay? It's not that. It's the attitude that he was putting off. It's the vibes that he was putting off. I did not like it, okay? See, with me with low vision as a legally blind man, you can look into a guy's eyes like that and see something up. You know something's up. You got where I come from. See, I remember thinking to myself, I don't want to be this guy. I don't want to be like him. If this is what singleness is about, Lord, please don't let me be single. You get where I get, you get where I'm coming from because I have seen, you know, some guys over the years that were single because they've been rejected by women so much, they became women haters, and I chose not to be that way, okay? And yes, there are some women out there that hate men and it's because they've been rejected by men over the years, and I praise God for the ones that don't turn out that way just because they saw others do the same, okay? So that's why I say, yeah, I'm 37 years old, but praise God. I mean, I have the Holy Spirit. I have the good outlook of my life now. You know what I'm saying? And I hope and pray that that guy that was seen at the river years ago, I hope he has a different outlook between then versus now. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, that attitude vibes is putting off some of those people that are single sometimes. They don't have to just peed off at the world, okay? Let's be honest with that. See, I chose not to be that guy, okay? I chose not to be that person. Though I'm single, I praise God that, uh, you know, I'm spreading the word of God to have family and friends, and, and I don't know what God has in store for me. I mean, I want to God knows that. You know, you know where I'm getting at. But in the meantime, I'm enjoying life, you know what I'm saying? I praise God for what I have. You see what I mean? Because... It's all in your attitude on how your life turns out. I always remember that. It's how your attitude is in life determines the outcome of your life. So I leave y'all with that. If there's anything I left out, feel free to leave that in the comment section or if there's anything you'd like to add, you know, leave that in the comment section also. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching and I pray I'll have a Wonderful, blessed day. God bless each and every one of y'all.